Here is the recap of the Season 6 of Rick and Morty. After the events of the previous season, the portal gun no longer works and the protagonists are adrift in the wreckage of the Citadel. Soon they are rescued by Beth and the old man wants to fix the teleporters. However, makes things worse and now all the creatures in the world are sent back to their universes. So Morty is transported to a land inhabited by the Cronenbergs and Rick finds himself in his original universe where his daughter Beth once was killed. Eventually, Summer and Arbeths help Rick get to Morty, and we learn that the old man chose this family in the past for a reason. It turns out that many years ago, a certain Rick killed the wife and daughter of the main character, and for a long time, our Rick could not find him. So he settled in his family in the hope that he would someday appear. Now that all the creatures have returned to their universes, the old man realized that his nemesis is now also trapped in this world. He finds his base, but the protagonist has to fly away to save his trapped family. Back home, Jerry accidentally releases some creature from a cage and it consumes the entire planet. Rick finds a new world where the whole family died there and the protagonists bury the corpses of their copies. While Rick, Morty and Summer were at the amusement park, robbers attacked the place and damaged the arcade machine named Roy. Now Morty's consciousness has split into five billion personalities in a virtual universe. Rick infiltrates this world and tries to convince all the people on the planet to go over the edge of the galaxy on huge arcs. This will help his grandson wake up. Since time in the real world and in the game flows differently, a real cult forms around Rick. Because of the stubborn old man, holy wars take place on the planet, but eventually he manages to save grandson's consciousness. Meanwhile, Summer fights the robbers in Die Hard style and defeats them. We're also shown that Rick saved the arcade machine with the only surviving old lady he befriended over the years in the virtual universe and allowed her to stay. The cool Beth flies in to visit the main character's family for Thanksgiving. Feelings arise between the clones and they sleep with each other. The others find out about it and Jerry is very upset at first. However, by the end of the episode, he even starts to enjoy watching his wives. Rick has bought a somnambulator that can be used to program his night personality to do things you don't want to do yourself. The protagonists use this device, but soon the night personalities begin to resist. First, they force the protagonists to do routine chores supervised by armed robots. And then they create a device with which they displace the consciousness of the originals. However, by the end of the series, the night personalities are so tired of everyday life that they return everything back to normal. At a Chinese restaurant, Jerry gets a fortune cookie that says he will have sex with his mom. Rick finds this suspicious and discovers that Jerry's probability line is curved. The man really does have to sleep with his mom. The old man discovers that there is a secret organization that has a creature in their basement. They use it to create fortune cookies that are bound to come true. Rick wants to get his hands on the creature, but eventually decides to help Jerry and changes his fate and the monster falls into a black hole. Aliens land on the planet. They turn out to be dinosaurs who existed on Earth a long time ago, but as we know, died from an asteroid. This highly developed civilization travels the worlds and helps the creatures to create ideal societies. Soon all humans are living in peace, but Rick doesn't like it and tries to find skeletons in the dinosaur's closet. He discovers that their civilization is so kind and altruistic that the ultimate evil has emerged in the form of flying asteroids whose only purpose is to destroy the dinosaurs' improved worlds. Rick puts them to a difficult choice and eventually the aliens recognize that they are hypocrites. The old man destroys the evil asteroid and the dinosaurs in retaliation close the central arc from the end of the previous season. Afterward, Rick finally fixes the portal gun. There's some really weird stuff going on in this episode that's hard to explain. Roughly speaking, Rick and Morty go into a meta-world. There, they meet the story lord from season 4, and he gets out into the real world where he meets his creator. He then tries to become all-powerful. The protagonists also try to escape, but meet the self-referential Six, because of which the whole meta-world is erased. But thanks to even more strange events, they manage to get out to their world. In the end, Rick manages to defeat the Story Lord, and his creator continues to come up with stupid storylines. Rick discovers that lately he has been bothered by various supervillains. He goes to a therapist who advises him to ignore them. 
The old man follows her advice and another villain is beaten up by Jerry for insulting his daughter. Suddenly, intergalactic heroes appear and invite the man to join their ranks. Throughout the episode, Jerry works for them. Rick, meanwhile, finds this villain nicknamed Piss Master and discovers that he committed suicide because of what happened. Rick decides to take on his identity and restore the reputation of the Piss Master for the sake of his daughter by doing good deeds. In the end, the foolish Jerry fights the disguised Rick, after which the man is kicked out of the hero's organization, and the old man manages to restore Piss Master's reputation. Morty doesn't listen to his grandfather and joins an order of strange knights. It turns out they protect our solar system and live on the sun. To fully join their ranks, the boy has to cut off his penis. Of course, he doesn't want to do that, and Rick helps him. However, because of this, Morty accidentally becomes the leader of the Knights. He decides not to fulfill his duties and returns home. Meanwhile, people from other planets in the solar system declare war on each other, which begins to affect Earth as well. Morty admits his mistake and with the help of Rick concludes a truce. But for this, the guy still has to cut off his penis. At first, the main characters try to deceive the audience, but they do not succeed. After that, they solve the problem with a good old-fashioned method, a pool of acid. On Christmas Day, Morty receives a lightsaber, but drops it and the weapon goes towards the center of the Earth. This could lead to the end of the world and the President of the United States decides to intervene. We learn that he actually wants to take the lightsaber from Morty because he is a Star Wars fan. Soon it turns out that Rick, who walks with the boy as a robot, he was replaced in the last episode. And the real Rick is sitting in the basement looking for his nemesis from the beginning of the season. In the end, the family kills the robot and the main character tells his grandson that he has found the trail of the Rick who killed his wife and daughter. This is the end of the season 6. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the like button. Thanks for watching, goodbye.